Camelot 331 here, and can anyone tell me, can anyone tell me what the hell is going on in Walmart? <laughs> I've had so many people send me the craziest things, the craziest things that you would not expect that would ever happen in a place <laughs> of business in America. So welcome to part three of our crazy ass Walmart stories. You're in for a ride. There's some pretty messed up stuff in here. <laughs> so wait, wait until the very end. There's some crazy stuff. So without further ado, let's dig in and subject ourselves to the true horrors of working <laughs> at Walmart. I work at Walmart in the garden department. I'm going to take a break and walk past the deodorant aisle and I see this huge guy, maybe 350 pounds in a wife beater, put on some deodorant, put the cat back on and put it on the shelf. I told my manager about it and he said it happens all the time. <laughs> it happens <laughs> all the time. This is my advice <laughs> because I feel like I've done something like that where I put like a, a drop of lotion on my face because I, I look like a salt flat. <laughs> Buy the deodorant that comes in the pack of two. That's your best bet to make sure you don't get 350 pound wife beater guy juice on it <laughs> not much of a story but i work in the deli and routinely an absolute giant of a man width and height comes in and buys all the hot wings <laughs> sounds a lot like me i'm coming for your hot wings son i don't exaggerate when i say this guy's easily seven feet tall because i'm six two and this gentleman absolutely towers over me I fear the day when we run out of spicy goodness <laughs> and he vaporizes me with his immense strength. <laughs> the wall of meat muscle, <laughs> the herald of Walmart, and the claimer of hot wings. <laughs> I can't hold my title anymore. <laughs> he has it now. I used to work at Walmart up front and one time this really adorable old man came in. He was so friendly and cute. Then he went into the bathroom and didn't come out for like an hour. <laughs> we started to smell something atrocious, so I took a deep breath of the freshest air I could find and went in. <laughs> there is poo everywhere. <laughs> it was like a snail trail of poo smeared all over the floor. <laughs> I could just see, I could just see him taking a deep breath of the freshest air. <laughs> Hold my dignity, man, because I'm going in. <laughs> Oh my gosh, why is there always poo involved? No matter where you work, you're not safe from the chunky poo slides. Whether it be from a small child or an old ass man, you getting covered in poo from head to toe, so you might as well just prepare yourself mentally and physically. <laughs> Go to the gym and do those squats to prepare for the chunky poo slide because it's coming, man. I worked in a neighborhood market in Tennessee. One day a heavy storm rolled in as I was pushing carts. As I was pushing in my last row, I saw a man walking towards the entrance, and since it was raining, it looked like he was wearing a white suit with yellow polka dots. I go inside. Turns out it's a very thin Spongebob onesie. <laughs> he wasn't wearing underwear. <laughs> it was not a good day for my eyes. <laughs> oh my god. A Spongebob onesie. A Spongebob onesie. <laughs> that seems like something that I would wear on Halloween as a joke. <laughs> ravioli, ravioli, show me the genitoli. <laughs> so I used to stock the craft section on overnights. I'm kind of an awkward person, so no human contact was great for me. This old guy on a scooter insisted upon sitting in the aisle for like five hours, just staring at the needles. <laughs> okay, whatever. I stalked everything I could, but finally I needed him to move. And honestly, I was a little creeped out at this point, as you should be. I mentioned it to my manager on the way to lunch. After lunch, he was gone. Turns out he had died there five hours earlier. Oh my God. Can you imagine a worse place to die? I feel like I've mentioned this in a previous video. That's like, the, could you imagine your final resting place being Walmart? <laughs> I can just hear his wife right now. <laughs> just go get my needles, Harold. 
It's not going to kill you. <laughs> Plot twist. It did. I was 18 and worked at Walmart in the produce department. Beyond regular duties, we made fruit trays on weekends. Nothing fancy, just a variety of cut up fruit in large red bowls. A dude comes in and asks for a tray with specific fruits. I tell him we unfortunately don't make custom trays. The 16 year old dude who is always on the shift with me overhears and tells him it's a slow night so he can do it for him. He says, okay, good. No gratefulness displayed at all. This coworker of mine is legit always extra kind to customers. It's legitimately admirable. That's something that's really hard to find. People being nice. <laughs> no one's nice anymore. 20 minutes later, my coworker comes out of the back room and presents it to this customer. He immediately starts screaming at him about how bad it looks. He yells things like, that looks like absolute crap. Are you an idiot? I run over to see what the problem is. The fruit tray looks absolutely standard, but this guy isn't having it. He smashes it on the ground and keeps screaming about how we're stupid and we've wasted his time. I snap and I tell him to get the hell out of my store. He postures up. Keep in mind this guy's in his 40s, ready to fight some teenagers over a fruit tray. <laughs> Numerous other employees run over and yell for him to get out. He says, I'll be back for all of you, and runs toward and out the sliding doors. All this was caught on camera, luckily, so management calls the cops regarding his actions and the last threat. They ended up arresting him later on because apparently he also had some warrants. I hope the fruit was worth it. <laughs> That's a perfect moment. <laughs> That's a perfect moment, a more perfect moment than any, to yell out, how do you like them apples? <laughs> if there was ever a perfect moment, that was it. I can't believe he threw a tantrum over a fruit tray. That's not going to help him much in prison. <laughs> I saw a dwarf security guard take a flying leap into and beat the hell out of a 60-year-old black man in a Hawaiian shirt who was trying to steal about $600 worth of steak. The steak guy. He did this once a month or so. He would just fill up his shopping cart with steaks, briskets, pork ribs, etc. Head up to the front, act like he's going to check out, then barrel through the exit doors and dump it into a waiting truck. They never got a clear plate and were always trying to catch him. I was working my counter and heard behind me, Sir, don't do it. Just step away from the cart. Walmart security is in plain clothes and has no legal authority. They can detain you and defend themselves, but they can't restrain you. You can leave whenever you want. So I turn around and I see this guy with a shopping cart full of steaks and he looks cagey as hell. He started to stammer and come up with all kinds of excuses while simultaneously trying to play it off. Sir, just come with us, please. Let go of the cart, sir. The guard trying to get him calm was the head of security there. He was a chill guy in his 30s, but built like a brick house. You might think he was chubby if you looked at him. You wouldn't dream. He could bench like 350 pounds, man. So the steak guy finally makes his break. He tries to blow past Chubb's McMuscles, and they end up going into a stack of DVDs. Then came Eric. <laughs> Eric was a... I'm not totally sure he would qualify as a dwarf. Perhaps just a guy with a growing disability. He was about four feet tall max. He would look like a 12-year-old except for the fact that he was completely yoked. <laughs> he was one of those just itching for action type of guys. He seemed like he had something to prove. <laughs> you must have when you're, you're four feet tall. So Muscle Chubbs and Steak Guy are now in the DVDs. And Steak Guy goes to get up. And here comes Eric. I'm probably wrong, but I swear I heard in the back of my mind, Yeah! <laughs> and this little man leapt through the air, both feet out, and just cannonballed this guy in the chest. Feet first. He went down again. I heard Chubbs yell, Eric, no! <laughs> As he scrambled onto the guy's chest and just started throwing little hands in this dude's face. Just wham, wham, wham. This is not what they teach you to do in Walmart security. Loss prevention, I think, is the official department. Eric was fired pretty much immediately. Walmart got sued, and they'd probably be better off just letting the guy run out with the stakes. But boy, what a show. <laughs> Eric, no! <laughs> Damn it, Eric, what the hell? Eric, no. <laughs> I could just hear it in my head. Eric, no! <laughs> As he just flies. Oh, God. I would, God, I just, I would literally pay so much money, like literally like 15 maybe $16, to see Eric fly through the air. And now I'm sad.
because I'll never see this. <laughs> Damn it, Eric. So this is just some of the crazy stuff that I get sent to me. <laughs> and I hope that you like hearing it because it's absolutely insane. So that's all I have today. Make sure you hit the like button if you enjoy the video. It really helps me out in engagement. Make sure you hit the subscribe button if you enjoyed my terrible content. Our family keeps growing larger every day, and it's all because of you. I really, really appreciate it. So until next time, get on it, doggone it. Bye. This is relevant because I'm extremely sick.